Hey guys, Jamie with PC Monkey. We're doing a key repair video today. Uh, this is a palm rest from a Toshiba Satellite Click 10. Uh, we're going to be doing the large key, show you how to replace one of the larger keys. If you're looking for how to replace the normal size keys, uh, check in the description, the link will be there. Uh, but we're going to do the large key in this video. Uh, we took this off so you can see the inside, the reason why we're replacing a key and not the whole keyboard. A lot of computers nowadays will have what's called a French inset keyboard. As you can see, there's no screws holding this down, it's just plastic rivets. So to replace the keyboard and not the palm rest, you have to rip these two apart, break all these clips, and then there's really no way to secure the keyboard that you're going to install, um, unless you want to put tape uh, down. So it's not an ideal repair. So that's why uh, a lot of people, when a key falls off or you lose one, they uh, prefer to replace the key and not the, the keyboard. And then of course, replacing the entire palm rest is usually more expensive than a key. Uh, so most people tend to either buy them loose online if you can find them on Amazon or eBay. If you can't find them, you'll have to buy a keyboard and then take the key off and put it on yours. So we're going to show you how to take off the uh, space key and then we'll show you how to put it back on uh, safely without breaking it. So you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver. And we're, the idea is to get the screwdriver underneath your key cap, uh, but on top of the retainer clip that's underneath that you can't see. So it's a little tricky because you can't see that part. So you're going to fold up your, your cap a little bit, slide this underneath, try to get it on top of the retainer clip, peel that up, then go down to the end, try to do the same thing down there. All right, so that came up reasonably easily. So we'll zoom in so you can see what was going on down there. So these two retainer clips, this white one and this white one, that's what we were trying to hold down. These are really flimsy plastic. If you just grab this and rip, or any of these keys, very easily that'll just bend and snap. Uh, so we try to hold those down with the uh, screwdriver as we're taking them up. As you can see, unlike your normal key, you got a lot going on down here. You, you have your little rubber bouncy thing. Don't rip that up. Protect that. Um, it's only held down by glue. If that rips up, it's really hard to get that thing back down. So these keys have one clip each. Or, uh, these have two. And it's got two stabilizer bars, one up top one down below. This even has some stabilizer bars in the middle. Try to keep these together, snap those back in. We don't need to remove those. Um, these stabilizer bars in here are a little tricky when you go to put the, uh, the cap back on. As you can see, they move around a little bit. They can slide to the right, slide to the left. So you have to eyeball it and get it kind of centered before you put the cap back on. So in order to take one of these clips up, um, these stabilizer bars are easy enough to take out. You just slide it out. But these clips are a pain. Most clips will look like this. They'll have two metal pins on the top two corners, two metal pins on the bottom. Some will only have one in the middle. Um, in order to get this up, I'm going to take my fingernail and push up on that retainer clip. There's not a lot of wiggle room. It's pretty tight. But I'm going to try to get every bit of play that I can. And I'm going to try to wedge with my screwdriver the plastic out from under that metal clip holding it down. This is where you'll break it if you do break it. This is really tricky. Um, and, and that's a very easily broken component. So hopefully I can do this without breaking it. And once I get it out, I'll show it to you. You can get a better look at it. So push up. Get that out. Get that out. All right, good. So not terrible. So we'll take a closer look at that. So there's your retainer clip. Uh, the bottom two metal pins went here and here to hold it down. Flip it over. And those top two that I was going for went here and here. I'm not sure how well you can see it or not, but... These two areas are um, made up of very, very thin plastic. Um, that's what was underneath the metal clip. So if you don't pry that out um, with enough finesse, um, that will easily just snap off. Um, and then you can't get it back in. It, it doesn't secure down. Real pain in the butt. So in order to put this back in, we're going to go in reverse. We just took it out by the top first. We're going to put it in by getting the bottom down pat first. So I just slid it in there, and I made sure that the bottom two were secure. So set it down, slide it inside, and slide it so that these two are where they should be on, on, on the bottom. Once you get that and it's centered, just snap the top two back in place. Um, then... Again, make sure that these uh, stabilizer bars are kind of centered, kind of where you want them. This may take 
um, a, a few tries. Um, d don't get frustrated. So then you put the space bar on and you snap it in place. And that's how you would get, uh, that's how you would replace your space bar, your enter bar, your shift key, um, the larger keys. So I uh, hope this video was helpful. Again, if you're looking for the smaller keys, look at the link below. And uh, like and share if it helped you out. If you enjoyed Do It Yourself Computer Pair, please subscribe. And any questions or comments you have, leave them below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching.